Happy Friday. Um, okay, so I messed up my back yesterday lifting. So I'm going to take an opportunity most likely to deload the lower body for the next several days. So I'll probably go back to legs next week. I will do all of my, um, well hopefully I can do all of my core exercises um, next Wednesday and Monday, but I'll be doing all upper body movements the next several days, which is fine. I'm fine with that. I mean, I'm not happy about it, but I just got to keep moving forward. So I'll do my best to do all my upper body stuff tomorrow. Um, and, um, leave my back out of the equation for the next several days. Um, I don't quite know about cardio, we'll see, because I don't know if I can deal with the impact. But as I said, I'll do my best to um, crank out um, as much activity as I can uh, crank out until my back gets all the way healed. I don't have these uh, steroid um, um, anti-inflammatory pills that I have been prescribed in the past just because I let the um, prescription run out because I really don't like taking that stuff. <clears throat> I don't really like taking anything to be honest with you, but I'm in quite a bit of pain, but I'm used to pain. You know, that's how it is when you have a back injury. You just get used to that crap. So I'm just going to tough it out. I know how to rehab myself. I have ice on my back as we speak. Um, you know, if I can only walk for the next couple weeks for um, um, my activity, then that's just the, the way that it's got to be. You know, that is just something I have to deal with, you know, and so I don't cry about it. I don't complain. I don't get all like, you know, oh, you know, I can't make gains or anything like that. I'm just going to, like I said, go with the upper body and then push on. So what I want to talk about today was car backloading really quickly again. And the reason why is because this stuff is, st is the information that you need every day. You need to be reminded of all this stuff every single day. And I'm not going to just talk about car backloading itself. I'm going to talk about um, some of the type of food to eat. So check this out. You really, if you're looking to pump up your muscles, then you want the higher glycemic index, index carbs after your workout. Um, high sugars, um, you know, not stuff that uh, endomorph should be eating, but if you want to get that pump look and you want to look full and you want to replenish your glycogen stores after your workout, then you can then you can eat like ice cream and things like that if you're not an endomorph or sugary foods, candies and different things like that. But endomorphs, we want to stay away from that stuff. The only thing is you really don't want to be eating fat because you want your body to burn fat. Stored fat specifically. So what you want to have is you want to have things that are lower in sugar content content car uh, yet complex carbohydrates so you know you can have your lower glycemic index fruits after your workout you can have a protein shake if, if uh, eating meat and different things like that and taking in dairy products is your thing but endomorphs we want to stay away from the high fat foods and the sugars after our workout I'm sorry I know that it's um you know you know, I know I've said in the past on, on you know, when you're going to have a, um, an event or anything like that, you know, you can pretty much eat what you want and you can, but I'm saying from day to day, if you're looking for results, you want to stay away from the high glycemic index carbohydrates after your workouts. And you also want to stay away from simple sugars and sugary carbohydrates. So, I mean, that's it in a nutshell, you know, um, it's the same thing. 300 calories, you know, I, I was looking at something that I was reading something today that said that someone, uh, you know, that's at my calorie intake, which is 2,400 calories per day can do, um, and I'm doing a modest, um, deficit. I'm not trying to, you know, I could do 1900, but I just feel like, you know, I don't want to be miserable on my diet and I still want to make strength gains. See, in, in a, in a, a moderate deficit will keep me building strength. A crazy deficit, 1,900, 1,800 calories, I'll lose all the strength that I've gained. And that's the big thing. That's why it's so, just see, I could cut all this weight right now easily. I could cut it all in a few weeks. I've done it before. It's easy. But the thing is, is I'm not trying to have that flat, milked out 
silly looking skinny fat look I spent the last seven eight months developing all this strength busting my butt I am NOT trying to give it all up for a cut do I want to be leaner yes do I want to have my six-pack Yes, do I want to have, you know, that summer look? Absolutely. But the thing is, I want to maintain that strength that I've gained. You know, that's very important to me. That's the only reason why I even started lifting and bulking to begin with was because I wanted to put on strength. I'm not trying to give up my strength gains just to, you know, uh, for the scale. You know, I don't want to be at the weight that I'm at right now, but you know, it was a give and take process. You know, I wanted to put on strength. I kept eating potatoes. I kept eating higher carbs. I knew what it was going to do to my body um, as far as fat gain was concerned. But, you know, as you will find in your journey, no matter what it is, you know, as an endomorph, everything's going to be give and take. Just like your eating habits, your eating habits are going to be give and take. You don't have much options as far as like pigging out and having fun as an endomorph. You know, and, and something like this, you know, a mesomorph or an ectomorph doesn't have to worry about the, 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 the manner in which they carve back low. But us, we do. You know, you can't have high fat. You can have high fat on your diet. Don't get me wrong. You can have high fat days, you know, where you're eating your avocados, your nuts, your seeds, and different things of that sort. But it, 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 when we're carb backloading right after your workout, it's better to have the complex carbohydrates. As I said before, vegetables low glycemic index fruits um, if you want to have sweet potatoes and brown rice in a moderate amount you can have that you know but you really want to stay away from sugary products and high fats that's just you know that's just the way it is and go do your own research you know you don't have to trust my word I never said I was a professional I never said that I was the all-seeing eye I am only sharing the information that I gather through my own research what I spent or which I spend a great deal of time doing so I can you know um, inc improve my own uh, uh, skills as far as like you know uh, macronutrient timing and in and, and, and how many calories caloric intake and whatnot but also to share this information so you know go out there and do your own research you know google um, um endomorph car backloading tons of research will come up about you know the manner in which different people blogs everything will come up and you can read through those that information and and and, and you know you will gain a vast amount of knowledge just in you know a few hours, you know, a week of reading through articles and different things about car backloading. And, you know, you'll have your own skills and your own systems down in no time. You just have to dedicate your life to building this new lifestyle and building new habits. Happy Friday.